I have this very vibrant, loud, athletic wear fabric. Look how stretchy it is. It's so good and I've made something with it. So if you're curious, keep watching. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. One of the silly things I have said in the past was that I don't ever plan to make active wear because I just don't want to and the reasoning behind my thoughts back then sort of did make sense because of the context I was in. I had a very basic sewing machine that did not do very well with knit fabrics and I could never find the right type of knit that I deemed appropriate to make leggings or tights. It had to do with the thickness, with the weight of the fabric, with the recovery of it, how compressive it felt and also I always wanted fabric that was opaque, that was safe to wear without anything showing through the fabric because that is really important to me. Well, I made it to this beautiful country, this is Brazil, this is where I live and in the gym I started to see girls wearing very outrageous type leggings, normal leggings, it's just the prints were standing out to me and I thought they were super fabulous actually, very colourful, very vibrant type prints and they were ready to wear but I started thinking you know maybe they sell these fabrics here, maybe it's easier to find them here than it would have been, you know, in Chile, in New Zealand, in Bolivia, where I've been living before, where I never could actually find the right type of activewear fabric. I found a fabric. Amazing, it was a small piece, about a meter. The fabric, just by touch, by feel, I spent a lot of time with the fabric in the shop before buying it, just ticked all the boxes for me. And I finally made a pair of leggings that I super super love and these are the super g tights from green style creations now this brand sort of specializes in active wear type styles they do have some more casual ones but nothing really that formal from what i can see it's mainly really really good like nice active wear sports bras men's geese short uh, women's lots and lots of types of tights things that are helpful for when you want to be a little bit active outside or inside and be comfortable and make it yourself. I never thought I could make these things myself but boy was I wrong, I can make them and I have found fabric here so that makes me really excited. You can see two options here and one is simpler, it does not have a side seam. The other one does because you can add an optional panel on the side that will allow you to insert a pocket there. That pocket could be good for storing things, you know, uh, phones, that sort of thing. There is a curved waistband that's composed of several pieces, inner and outer waistbands, super nice and anatomic. Around the inseam, there is actually not an inseam because there is a super long gusset piece um, that has a very unique shape that goes between the inseam so it's very very well made and there are several inseam lengths 21 26 29 32 inch lengths where you would like the waistband to hit on the body also has an option of a mid rise and a high rise they both use the same waistband piece it's just that the waistband piece is narrower for the mid rise and for the high rise the waistband is wider i was leaning towards the option of choosing a high rise with a wide waistband and i know from the past with my ready to wear leggings those are the ones that i have felt more comfortable around my tummy when the waistband is is quite wide and shaped and it just feels so nice on the tummy when you're wearing it so Seeing that this is one of the features there, um, I was excited to make them. Green Style Creations is having a 4th of July sale. I know the 4th of July already passed, but the sale is through the 8th. So through tomorrow night and every single pattern in the website is 30% off. I purchased two patterns in the sale today. They have a new rash guard for women called Waimea and the everyday yoga pant looks really nice as well. So those are the ones I got myself. I'm excited to sew them. And I will leave all the information down in the description box because there is a little code to use to get the patterns with 30% off. It's Independence 2020. I'm letting you know if you're interested in making yourself some comfy things to be active in, you can have a look at the details below and you're welcome to use my affiliate link as well. Now about the fabric choices, as I mentioned, I had issues in the past about not finding the right types. They were always just too thin. 
in Bolivia, all I could find was double brush poly. <laughs> and I don't really think that double brush poly is appropriate for this type of garment or the way I like to wear it at least. Last year, I made the Shelly leggings from Seamwork in a type swim fabric, green with flowers and everything. It was just one that I, I had and I used. And although it, it sort of seemed okay while wearing it, it does not really have that compressive feel and it feels a little bit lightweight. So I haven't counted on swim type fabric for these types of um, garments either. I even don't like that slight sheen that some swim fabrics have. So I would go with the active wear fabrics that are medium to heavyweight, suplex, anything that has polyamide in there, a mix of polyester with a lot of elastane, at least 10%. If more, the better. This fabric that I have here that I'm going to show you made up in a bit is 90% polyester, 10% elastane, and it's 13 ounce per square yard or 400 GSM. And, you know, I'm going to stretch it for you. Um, it's very stretchy and you can see, boom, it just bounces straight back. It's so good. It is so good. And if I stretch it, even though it's white on the other side, it doesn't turn white on this side and it's not see-through at all. You know, I draped it over myself. I did all this sort of thing. I looked, must have looked crazy in the shop before actually buying it, but I really, really liked it. And I got it. And I'll show you another fabric that is exactly the same that I purchased afterwards that my intention uh, was for making these leggings, but I ended up making a skirt instead. And this is the same type of fabric. And it's got this type of print white on the other side. It is not shiny at all it's just not shiny and it's also very stretchy these fabrics need to stretch horizontally and vertically the same you know um, these patterns are drafted and they count for that vertical stretch as well for the crotch length all those things so they do need to stretch very nicely in both directions you know about the sizes, they come in alphanumeric system and they come in ranges, the body measurements. So from XXS to 3XL and the largest waist measurement there is 38 inches and the hip 50 inches. I know some people that have made them and I asked them, how did you find the sizing? Because there is no chart with finished garment measurements. So it's really hard to know how much negative ease is drafted into the pattern. There needs to be negative ease, of course. The leggings need to be quite smaller than your body. My measurements put me in an extra large for waist and hips and the two people that I know that have made them that I have contact with told me just make a large because they had actually made a size smaller than their body measurements and they said you're going to be fine, you're going to be fine as long as your fabric has 75% stretch you will be fine. So I took that advice to heart and I made a size large. I was working with a fabric I loved, but I had really high hopes that everything was gonna work okay. I had made the Brazil joggers in the past from this brand and had a very, very good experience also without knowing finished garment measurements. So, you know, I take it that they are experts in drafting for these types of styles and these types of fabrics. So I just went with it, trusted the process and started sewing. What you'll see in Up Close and Sew Personal is how I'm cutting these leggings out to save as much fabric from one side because I want some left over to make the Power Sports Bra. It's another pattern from Green Style Creations. I've already got it cut out, I just can't get around to sewing it. I am using my sewing machine to sew every single seam. I am not using only my serger. I'm using the serger and the sewing machine. And I'm using different zigzag settings than I use for other types of knit projects. And I will show you that. Also how to put this gusset. It's a little bit different to a gusset I've shown you in a previous video where I showed another pair of leggings. Um, that gusset was very much smaller than this one. Um, this one is different. Uh, I find this one easier to put together actually <laughs> and you're going to see all that there and also how to assemble this waistband has several pieces and very interesting so let's hop into the practical sewing. the width of the fabric folded with some excess to one side because I don't need it. There is the main pattern piece. There are many inseams available for these leggings. 
I'm making the shorter ones. I've always liked my leggings cropped. You can see on the side the gusset piece that you just cut once and the inner waistband and the outer waistband have separate pattern pieces. The inner waistband is slightly shorter as you can see and that makes the seam go to the inside and the same for the back. There's an inner back and an outer back waistband. All that that's left over will be used to cut a bra, I hope. These are the settings I'm using to sew these leggings, the width and the length. That's number seven, it's just a zigzag stitch. I have a stretch stitch settings on the machine, but I'm keeping it simple and I'm just gonna use that. I'm doing every seam with a three eighths as indicated by the pattern and just keeping it simple. I have the two main leg pieces that doesn't have a side seam or any side detail or anything, just the basic version. And it's because look at that print, really. Why would you need more things when you have that print going on? So they are both together, right sides together. This shorter curve here is the front and that longer one is the back. I have already gone ahead and sewn that. This pattern has 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and I have used a narrow zigzag stitch to sew that with black thread. Uh, it's been surged with white overlocking thread, <laughs> but actually the sewing, I want it to be black because of all the colors here on the other side. So this zigzag allows it to stretch and if any thread were to be seen, I would prefer it to be black than white. So on the inside, it's not going to look so great with the black stitching, but I always prioritize the outward appearance. This is looking mighty strange, but I have just opened up the front. So that's the front I have sewn. I've opened it up, wrong sides up, and now I have that long piece that's the gusset here. Now this gusset is different. It's got a different shape for the front and the back. And there are notch marks. So there's that line and it says front there because I wrote it with a friction pen. That has to match that seam there. And then this one has to match there. And that one has to match there. And so I have to go and sew this gusset on with a 3 8 seam allowance. There, there. So that should be fairly easy to do. I have the gusset pinned on. This is the front seam. So matching those notches there. The gusset is tiny bit shorter than the pattern piece and it's supposed to be like that. It does say in the instructions that you need to stretch this area to match that area. And I guess it just gives it more support in that area there. And then you go all the way down and on the legging pattern, there is a notch mark that marks where the gusset needs to stop right there. So when I sew that with a 3 8 seam allowance, it's gonna be that little flap there, but then that little flap is gonna be caught when I sew the rest of the gusset there to the back part of the leggings in the next step. So I'm just gonna go ahead, sew, zigzag, and serge this seam. it has been sewn onto that area that's the front crotch curve now I've pinned the back one together I'm going to sew that serge that then I'm going to open that up and attach it to that area over there so that is the back crotch seam that I've sewn and serged open the pattern up and now I have to match this to this gusset now I also made marks with a friction pen you can see that line there it's a double line because it's for the back and there's a upside down B there so I have to match that to that and then this notch there to that one there and the same on this side and it's basically the same as I did to the other side. So I have to catch the gusset there, pin that, sew that and search that. Mm -hmm.
here we're seeing the inner waistband same marked with an I now I just have to put these two together the shorter one is the front the longer is the back and have to sew these together to form like a round thing and I'd have to do the same with the outer ones see that's the outer and the inner have been already sewn together always with my zigzag stitch there is significantly um, negative ease here now I have put these right sides together and I'm showing you one is the inner one is the outer the inner waistband is slightly shorter you can see I've put the seam allowances in different directions there and now I have to sew that on the round there was supposed to be an elastic at this stage but my fabric is extremely good it has excellent recovery and elasticity I don't really think it's necessary so I opted to not put the elastic here just doing this with a zigzag stitch as you can see and now there you can see the difference in the height of the inner waistband and that is going to make the seam on the top go to the inside and not be seen see how stretchy this is with zigzag stitch then I just have to turn these right sides out and then attach this onto the leggings the tights have been sewn up they are just ridiculous <laughs> the color you can see where the point of this gusset finishes there before the hem stops that's the other side of there and then you can see the gusset sort of because the print doesn't really allow it to show but you can see the seam lines there around there and now on the top I have assembled the inner and outer waistband there are seams there and that is on the front this is a curved waistband I decided to omit the elastic that goes in there I think this fabric is sturdy enough to not need it and I've pressed those seams one facing one direction and one the other so that they can sort of nest together and so all I need to finish now is to attach the waistband to the tights and I'm going to do that with my zigzag stitch and then when I finish this edge inside I'm going to change my serger thread to black so that it's black there and it's not white and I'm going to serge the edges of the hem as well in black so when they're turned in and everything it's going to be visible there with a black thread right at the end i thought i was filming when i sewed on that waistband and it's happened to me before where i actually press the record button on the camera but i've actually stopped it because it was recording the roof before so i apologize i missed out on filming how i sewed the waistband onto the leggings but it is very easy and i'll just tell you when i show you the the garment so here it is look at this the print is just bananas now believe me when i tell you when i wear these out i am not standing out no one's gonna be like oh like shocked to see a person wearing this type of print here and i am loving that i am loving that it is very very green and type animal print with crazy corals and yellows and blacks and i love it so much I would always wear it with black on top because you know this is crazy enough and they are just so easy to make took no time at all now the waistband i left you with the waistband constructed here on the seam on the top the top seam there can have clear elastic if you want to but this fabric i mean it doesn't need it it is so good so i opted out of the elastic um, the inner waistband is shorter than the outer waistband and you just have to slide your leggings inside the waistband the leggings you know with the fabric right sides out like you can see there and sew them together so the outer waistband to the leggings right sides together and you have the inner waistband on the outside and then you just sew them and serge them and you can see that because the inner waistband is shorter it makes that top seam roll under like roll inside so when you wear this, that top seam is not visible. It's rolling to the inside. And I really thought that was a clever way to draft this and design this. It's a very nice waistband. It has a seam that goes right there. And oh, I just can't tell you how nice this feels on the tummy. It feels really supportive. You know, if you're jumping around or moving around, it just holds your tummy in place there. And it's so, so comfortable. I showed you my zigzag stitch settings and actually you can see the zigzag there it is still small but you can see it this type of larger but small zigzag that you can see does allow a lot of stretch 
Now, when I saw garments that have a bit of positive ease, that aren't fitted to the body in lighter weight knits like rayon spandex when I make dresses or just a loose type t-shirt, I use a shallow zigzag where the width of the zigzag is very small, 0.5, and then the length is 2.5. So it looks almost like a straight stitch, but it has a little bit of waviness and it does allow for some stretch, but it does not allow for this amount of stretch that this slightly larger zigzag allows for. So that is the difference. That is why I do it like this for my leggings. I don't have a serger that will allow such a strong seam to hold on its own. I have tried it and I don't actually like it that much. I always prefer my sewing machine and I like sewing with my sewing machine. You can make these with a normal sewing machine. Don't think you need a cover stitch or like anything too fancy, you know, you don't need it. And sewing the gusset was not hard, just follow the notches. The pattern diagram was super good and it just looks super strange inside. <laughs> so that's how that piece looks there. Now this gusset goes, in my case, almost all the way to the hem because I've made a shorter length inseam. So if you're making longer full length tights, um, it'll stop there and then you, you just continue sewing. Like you saw me sew a little piece there. If you're doing a longer inseam, that will just be longer. And then I've just turned up the hem and twin needled. Looks nice. Look, I would love to have a cover stitch. I think I could get creative and actually try doing those panels on the side and there's other designs here in Green Style Creations that have so many pieces and I see how other people make them and they look so cool. With the sewing machine, you do have a little bit of bulk inside the seams and that's why I just choose options that have less seams. My skin is super sensitive, so that is the reason I am not gonna get a cover stitch anytime soon. Um, they are just way too overpriced here in, in Brazil and I can't see getting, getting one anytime soon. So sewing machine it is, it is perfectly possible, I still do them. So mine is a simple version, no side seam here, just one piece, very comfortable. I don't need pockets actually in my leggings because I wouldn't want to like weigh my legs down carrying stuff. I have a little belt, a runner's belt that you tie around your waist. It's very fitted there and it fits a phone, a card, a bank card, a key, anything tiny that you want to carry around. So that is what I prefer rather than having pockets. I would not do the gusset with a contrast color. Um, not, I, I don't think I would ever want to highlight that there's a gusset there. I love that it's there because it makes the leggings fit so much better but I wouldn't like want to do it in black so that everyone can see it, you know? <laughs> Whenever it gets to winter, I find that I just have lower energy than usual. I am feeling cold. Um, sometimes the weather outside is just really gloomy and I don't really have that motivation to go out there and have a walk, take some deep breaths, get my heart running a little bit faster. I always feel very energized when I come back and it just boosts my mood in a way that is very very positive for me. I think that sewing my own tights in happy prints and in colors that I like is just a tiny the tiniest little boost I might need to actually put them on and just get out there. See some parrots, breathe some fresh air, relax, think it's very good for me. Now I have just filmed myself in them so you can see how they look just around here and I've included also real life photos of me in them because I've had them for a while already and I have been wearing them out and about and I really enjoy them so some pictures are nice with this camera others are yeah with the phone but have a look here they are I think I might be camouflaging with the grass a little bit I really like this length on a legging so that I have some skin there at the bottom um, I've never enjoyed full length leggings and maybe I like them a bit shorter too, but this is perfect. And it was always a mystery whether they were going to fit because I didn't have finished garment measurements and I didn't know how much negative ease there was. The fabric is so good, so stretchy. It's got great recovery. It feels really compressive and that's really nice when you're doing anything when you're moving around and they just feel really good on. I'm sure you can't see this long gusset. It reaches almost down to the leg, to the ankle right there and it starts there and goes all the way up and around 
and it feels so comfortable on it's just amazing how the shape can go around the leg and feel so good it feels so nice the waistband is really wide all that and it's really curved you saw the waistband had many pieces there is a seam right there it doesn't reach this the side seam well there's no side seam <laughs> but it's sort of this way and that's the front and then the back goes from here all the way to the back and because it's so curved it follows the shape of this area of the body that is not straight for a lot of women it, the, the shape on the front is nice here there nothing hikes up or anything and at the back I chose the high waist option and it reaches where I want it to be nice and comfy nothing riding down when I move and no side seam, so that's, that's nice. The less seams, the better. And I'm just very happy. I'm extremely extremely happy with them I feel super good in these I feel amazing um, if you've worn really high quality leggings have that great thick compressive type fabric um, when you're jumping or moving or anything it just keeps the muscles there without them moving that much and it just feels so nice I don't know if you know what I'm talking about <laughs> maybe some of you do <laughs> but I like having that sensation of everything being held nice and firm and this fabric achieves that you know uh, especially this wide waistband that curves it's my favorite style of legging i have made so far because of this feature there curve there is so well drafted so well made and you can certainly tell when you're wearing it how it feels it's just amazing i wanted to show you two more fabrics i have purchased to make two more of these the two fabrics i'm going to show you are the same types of fabrics just in different colors and solids and they are 84 percent polyamide 16 percent elastane or spandex so very they're going to stretch and recover and just be amazing they are also heavyweight 13 ounce per square yard 400 gsm and totally totally cool this is like i don't know what color is coming up on camera but for me it's a very dark pink very dark pink it's not hot pink or like soft pink it's the type of pink that i like i love this and um look at this and look how heavy it is i think i got 1.3 meters because i want the leggings and i want enough for a sports bra as well I know this could be in replacement of power mesh, which I cannot find. I just cannot buy the stuff. So that is what is stopping me from making the sports bras because I don't have the appropriate thing to line it with to give my bust some support. But I think if I did layers of this, two layers of this, I would be okay because this fabric is so supportive as well. So I got a little bit extra for that. And the other one is the same, it's just blue. I love blue and it's the same quality exact same fabric and I super love it can't wait to make them I know for now I will continue making uh, these types of garments in the simpler way because I just count on my sewing machine and my serger you know chafing is pretty unreal when you're doing things outside and you're sweating so I'll just keep it simple for now this is working so far have you made some active way that you like I know sometimes it's just easier to buy them but in my case the ones that they sell here in the quality that I like are extremely expensive I'm talking about over $120 a pair for that cost I think I can make three or four myself and be super happy with the quality of the fabric maybe in a simpler design but one like this with that waistband that is amazing and I feel great in totally doable it got so windy I apologize <laughs> I don't think it's gonna stop <laughs> maybe you liked this pattern that I've shown you today maybe you want to try it for yourself if you do please use my affiliate link because I receive a small commission from that sale and that helps support me if you want to or you can just go to the website and buy the pattern that is totally fine as well thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon
Bye.